but stick to don't talk, you know, don't don't jump to set. Is this yeah. a point of information? That's all I uh, that's, all, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Okay. That's not an yeah. official announcement by the admins um, who are running the uh, the online initiatives right now. So if anyone has any more information on that, please let us know. Okay. Um, he's got a point of information. Then after this gentleman has been spoken before, and then you've had your hand up for a while. So, so on that on that point about things getting posted online, people not being sure what to do with. If we, as a group, at occupyformlauderdale.org, comes to any decision, it's going to be on our page. It's going to be on our website. There is a lot of misinformation out there, and there are a lot of troublemakers purposely trying to confuse people. You see them posting on our website. We have people emailing us all the time saying, "Oh, you have to cancel your Saturday meeting because it's raining out." And they're, you know, they're acting like they're in charge here. Nobody's in charge. We're all leaders here. If we all come to a decision, it will be on our Facebook and our website. So, you know, don't trust everything you read online. You know, said there's something on 11 o'clock on Meetup. None of us have ever heard of it. So don't get confused by that. But it's, uh, you know, we'll all come to a decision. We'll all come to All right. With, uh, with that point of information being expressed, uh, you know, I think that the online, the website thing is a great forum for logistics and to express ideas. But I think to actually vote on what's going to happen online is extremely uh, not secure. I, I think the whole democratic process is going to be diluted, and I, I don't see that um, working well. You know what I mean? There's obstructionists, like you said, who are going to you know, try to disseminate false information and all of that. And I think that um, if people you know, want to want to actually vote and have something to do with this movement, they should show up in person mm -hmm. and make it a point to do that. I agree. Similar to what the other young lady was talking about, and it could help this. But uh, is there is there a physical address and or PO box? And if people are expected to show up to the voting area, let's do it like you know the president, you know, stuff. have an actual whole area, right. with different locations, so people can come and, and list their vote and have an official representative take those in a lockbox and then collaborate all of those. Physical address for people that like hey, let's go old school. Some people still don't have internet. We're not using. Go ahead. And after Michael, I'd like to call him. Michael. Yes. yes. I would okay. like to call myself. Um, I just wanted to say that I do think that it's important that we decide things democratically, but I also think it's important to point out that. Waiting on an entire group, a large group, people who aren't here in order to decide things is going to hinder our progress. You know? Like you said, if they're not here, then they just have to show up on whatever we decide. It's very important that we get this done now. Like she said before, people need time to prepare. Like you said before, we need to choose a time so that people know ahead. Okay, I know it's Saturday. I know it's going to be randomly 11 o'clock. Okay, so they will announce when we decided in our General Assembly, hopefully there will be another one on Wednesday, that this is where we're going to meet and it's going to start, this is the route we're going to take, and then this is where we're going to end. If they want to be part of that decision process, they need to be here. Online tools are very great, like you said, to discuss things, but having the voting and stuff done online, if people aren't paying attention to what's going on online, then it doesn't work. The most they will probably do is they'll, they'll check in to see if there's going to be another meeting soon. So we need to get people to show up to the meetings. Because if they're not showing up to the meetings, then they're not going to show up to the protest. They're not going to show up to the occupation. So I would like to move right now that, okay, we know it's Saturday. Let's just pick a time right now that is good for the majority of people to come and get started on that day and then have the place decided by Wednesday and have it announced online so people have at least a few days to know exactly what they're doing on Saturday. Um, I think the three of you have made some very valid points about the dangers of uh, doing internet voting, but I would like to remind every one of us that the movement is not just limited to those of us who show up here. It is far beyond us. For every one of us that's here, there's a thousand or 10,000 people out there who feel the same way they do. And they need to have a way to contribute. And we need to keep that in mind. We need to figure out a way to facilitate that. Um, 
This is all of us together who have to change this world. Um, and it's not necessarily fair for one group of people who are geographically privileged, so to speak, to, to take upon themselves a decision for the entire movement. Someone, a facilitator, points at you 
to, to speak um, so everyone can have a fair uh, chance to... Staff, this woman in the blue shirt, this gentleman here, you and then so. I think it's a lot of work for me to get out somewhere just to vote. Yeah. I'm not going to comment just to vote, but if you're going to have a process meeting or whatever, then I'll get child care and all the things I need to do to get here. So I don't want to just come and vote. I want something else going. Have a GA meeting. Yeah. 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 General assembly. Um, General assembly. General assembly. Yeah. Right. I understand where you're coming from with that kind of statement, but online there's a lot of pollution and there's a lot of people that can go in and hack. Well, I just want to general assembly. Can I reflect on our process? I just like to say that this is beautiful. What we're doing right here, I think, is what we're asking for. We're we're putting into motion what we're asking for elsewhere, and it's frustrating as hell at the same time. And we don't know how to do it. We're learning, and I just want to to say that uh, we could have when we had 150 people here. It could we could have all voted and said, okay, we're going to try that and run out, but we could have taken that edge together. There would have been something really good about that, and it would have been a good mark. We're doing it differently. There were really great things about this, and I just wanted to put that so this process is I to work through what we did. So? Um, I just want to suggest a, a compromise. Um, I think everything we said is valid. Um, I think we have to remember to keep within reason. This is just the beginning. This is just our first demonstration. I think we all have the hope that we're growing something more. So I think um, maybe merge the two ideas. Despite I agree with you that it's late for midweek, but I agree also agree that it's the best we can do right now. So I think maybe move that polling idea deadline to Tuesday yeah. and have a general assembly Wednesday and then just ask the rest of, of everyone involved to, you know, have a little faith in them. Because in the end, you kind of have to have yeah. faith that the movement's going to work. You have to have faith that the people involved have the same good intentions as you. So I think we're as far as we can go, maybe. So I'd like to put that out there, that maybe move up the polling deadline to Tuesday and then get the top two or three, probably two is better, um, my opinion. Um, and then meet on Wednesday and, ask, and then vote on it there. Whoever can come can come. And then for those who disappear, can't, then they can help organize the next one. Mm. You have a beautiful? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to say, I don't like being in front of cameras or people, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to say that as much as I understand and have become part of this movement about democracy, we all have to understand that unfortunately in most situations we are never going to find a place, location, time, and day that works for everybody. I agree that we should vote online. I agree that we should have a general assembly sometime midweek to discuss the, the whole issue. But we also have to understand that it's never going to work for everybody. And if you are part of this movement and you can't get it on a computer and you can't come to the general assembly meeting, and we're trying to work, you know, around everybody's needs, but we can't tailor this movement to fit every specific circumstance. That's awesome. Okay. Um, how does everybody feel right now about moving to a vote on Sully's compromise or one of the other suggestions? Tuesday. Yes. Tuesday. Tuesday online. Tuesday online. Tuesday online. Tuesday online. Tuesday online. Tuesday What time do we want to meet here Wednesday? Do we want to meet here or do we want to meet at the other location? I say we meet here. Here. Can I make a point? Um, when it was when it was posted online, it, was, it said that today was going to be at the VA Park, which is actually not this park. This yeah, is not is the same park. This is not this park. This is the VA Park. This is not 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 park. This park. This is not 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 park. This is there were two people over there when I walked up and said, no, we're not here, we're over there. So I didn't know where we were going. And I think that if we are going to meet either wherever we're going to meet, if it's going to be here, if it's going to be over there, if it's going to be back at Strana, and again, we have to be clear about which one we're going to be at so that that confusion doesn't happen again. I would like to add that if we pick a place, we stay there, because last night when I showed up, 
I didn't know where anybody was. And I wandered all around Stranahan listening to the fights. <laughs> and uh, finally, I, I just like, I asked somebody, he's like, oh, just follow the voices. I'm like, real voices or real voices? <laughs> <laughs> but at that moment, a great cheer went up. So I figured it out. But, I think that that part over there is, because I know Stranahan was a little, felt a little bit small for how many people we had last night. This park over here is much bigger. It was the one that was actually named today, but it seemed like it would work better. It was bigger, there was more space, and we'd actually be able to fit a lot more people. So I would, I'm just going to put that out there as a suggestion for where we need to have It's right across the street from the college, too. Yeah. Two colleges, FA and So if you're a serious thought. I the neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. I'm serious about reaching out to the students, and that's the place to be. And the name is that. Uh, yeah. 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 In support of Mazinga. Park. 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 Against oh. Pizenga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what time? I like the idea. Nine. Morning, noon, or night? Five, six, 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 Bear in mind that this park here closes at nine. So much time. Many parks close at nine. It's a very much time. Many parks close at nine. It's a very much time. 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 It's that large to make a decision like this, we're running out of time. It needs yeah. to be done. Well, so this is just for yeah. And I think that, right? I think that if you make the announcement, when people see that, they'll show up if they can. Just um, like with the, the thing on Saturday, if we can announce that, they'll show up if they can. Yeah, the, the, the quick point that I was going to make was that I don't know that there was any voting that went involved with our meeting yesterday and what time it was going to be, or the meeting today and what time it was going to be. So yes, the democratic process is very important, but we also have to consider that not everyone is going to be there every time that we vote. And so if, if we're saying, okay, the, we're going to meet on Wednesday at that park at 7 o'clock, and we put that online, how many people showed up last night when nobody voted? They just said, we're going to be here at this time, and like 200 people showed up. I think that people will show up if you tell them when and where. Okay. Yeah. 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 We did, um, we did, do we want to continue, or do we want to make some announcements, yeah. and then... Can I quickly... I, like, did we vote before we were going to agree on time for Saturday? Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, oh. No, that's for Wednesday. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Saturday? 11 a.m. Saturday. Okay, so you can tell everyone 11 a.m. Saturday. 11 a.m. And the, the location will be open on. Hold on. Not everyone's talking once. Okay. Right. Okay, I'll kind of do what you can. Yeah. Okay. So, for our General Assembly meeting on Wednesday, it will be at... Zingo Plaza at Bouvier Park at 7 p.m. Yes? Yeah. Let me get consensus. Let me hear everybody. You know? Okay, so tell everyone. And then on Saturday, when we do our, what are we going to call it? The protest march? Demonstration. Yeah. Demonstration. Okay. Saturday's demonstration for solidarity with the rest of the occupation movement going across the nation is going to be Saturday at 11 a.m. Location to be, Location to be decided. Be yeah. It will be suggested online. Polling will be closed on Tuesday at midnight. Yeah, can we do that? Yeah. Tuesday at midnight. And then we will vote on the actual location and have it posted on Wednesday when we meet at Wubia Park and Isaac at 7 o'clock. Where are you going to vote? Where we are going to be doing our voting on Occupy Fort Lauderdale. Occupy Fort Lauderdale. Dot org. 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 D
he's going to post an actual poll? No, no, no. Because, I mean, on Facebook, you can do that. Yeah, I can post an actual poll. Okay, so we're going to post an actual poll for the potential locations on the OccupyFortLauderdale.org website. And the poll will close at midnight on Tuesday. Will that be on the homepage or will it be in the poll? It should be on the homepage. homepage. If it's not on the homepage, I'll put it on the homepage where it is. Okay. But I'll, you know, it'll probably be on its own page. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, any further business? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you had. Yeah. Okay, yeah, my name is Scott. I'd like to make hey, a. Uh, Hi, Scott. Uh, a, a statement of principle. We are on the cusp of an enlightened movement. If we, if we focus on what our desired outcome is, we can achieve that. If we turn it into a protest or become against something, we will lose. If we fight, we lose. We, uh, the only way to create the future we desire is to stay focused on what we desire. And then move toward that. If we, if, we, if we protest, we lose. If we fight, we lose. We, we can demonstrate. We need, to, we need to support each other and demonstrate. But if we fight and, and protest and become against something, we lose. I had a question about the national movement. I had a question about the national movement. I had a question about the national movement. For next week's demonstration across the country. For next week's demonstration across the country. Do we know what time they are? What the entire country at once? Do we know what time they are before they cross the entire country at once? Do we want to know? In LA, LA, New York, Chicago, Washington, or in uh, in response to that, I'll probably be down here all day. So I mean I think we I think we do it as long as possible. We make our presence known as long as possible. And, uh, and then we don't even have to worry about a, a specific set time. Congratulations, guys! Yeah, I want to see the I want to see the number ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. And right now, we're discovering our own voices for the first time. And we have to figure out how to be a chorus so that our voices, our music, shakes this society to its foundations and we can create something new. And I'm not making this up myself. I'm learning from my Sony brother over here. Who's, they, here they, they did that. They brought down the Soviet Union by singing. And I mean that literally. But I want to bring it back a lot of people have given their lives for us to get here today. A lot of people, thousands of people. And I want to bring up the name of somebody that we need to keep in our minds at all times. And that man was a young man, a young Arab man in Tunisia, who was just trying to sell some vegetables. 
He was very educated, couldn't find a job, was just trying to make a little bit of money to help out, and the police beat him up one too many times, threw his shit to the ground so he couldn't sell it anymore. And he went to the city hall, and he doused himself with gasoline, and he set himself on fire. And he set the world on fire. And unfortunately, what breaks my heart is he did not live to see the regime that made him take that response fall. He lived that long, but he never regained consciousness. And the fire spread from Tunisia to Egypt to Libya to Yemen to Bahrain to Syria. It's already burning in Greece, and now it's in Spain and Iceland and Italy and Chile and across the world. And so here's his name. Mohammed Boizizi. We are here today because of Mohammed Boizizi's selfless act. And we're going to have to give a lot of ourselves in this time. Because the people who live in those high towers, who rule us from those high towers, they don't want to see democracy. They are afraid. They have been sending out they tried to kill us with silence. First, they wouldn't let their media talk about us. And then when they finally did, they were degrading us and making fun of us and saying, oh, well, they don't know what they're doing. And now they're trying, and now they're trying to tell us how to be taken serious. <laughs> As if they ever took us seriously before. We have to take each other seriously. And we have to remember those who have fought for our rights Discuss further in the next CGA on Sunday. I think I got a great slogan. We're the 99 percent, and we're too big to fail. I like that. Again, there's one important safety issue on the train. Is I know I don't know if it's Florida specific laws, but I know that some of the ridiculous New York laws are that you can't have actually picketed signs. Um, the idea is that they can be used as, as weapons. So we want to keep it on cardboard or cloth. Um, you know, recycle some of those t-shirts, cut them up, and put your message on the back. Um, break down boxes, but just be careful. Don't we don't want to look aggressive or give anyone the excuse to to, to construe us as aggressive. So just don't bring the picketed signs. Would be my suggestion. We're okay with that. No, we're okay. So can you reuse stuff? Oh, you can. Yeah, do it all. As we are thinking about making up the science, I have to say straight that we have some difference of opinion. I want to say it loud and clear that if we are afraid to fight, we have already lost. And if we are afraid to say what we are against, nobody is going to care what they are for. Possibly then, since we are having this general assembly meeting on on Wednesday, possibly if anyone has the um, things already, could we possibly make signs then? If they, because we're going to be doing other things, but that's something that we could possibly get done there too, so that everyone can be involved with it and everyone can get their ideas out there onto the board. Yeah. 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 Um, I was actually thinking that we could probably have a document made or something made on the website with slogans and different things. If you look at the Occupy um, Miami forum, they have a lot of different, they have a document in their group that has different slogans and things that you can use for signs. Um, I would say, I also like to offer this, that if anybody wants to contact me, that I'm going to be making a, I'm going to be going to uh, Michael's uh, to get material and things like that. So if anybody wants to like put their two cents in and let me know if they want anything specific, 
then I can get it for you there. Or uh, if you want to come with me, we could go. Uh, Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Uh, and also, we can be designed at my place, too. I've got a floor. Mic check. Mic check. In order to win, I believe, I believe, we must criticize, we must criticize by creating. By creating. We must win, we must, we must win, by, by, by creating our new world. We have the power. We have the power to co-create. To co-create a new world. A new world. Criticized by creating. Criticized by creating. We will create. We will create a new world. A new world. This is an evolution. This is an evolution. This is a revolution. This is a revolution. To raise consciousness. To raise consciousness. On this planet. On this planet. Amen. Amen. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I'm noticing our numbers have significantly dwindled. I think, you know, we have made some huge progress in process and understanding. And I think I think it's probably time to wrap this up. So, uh, you know, all your working groups, whoever's left over from working groups, uh, you know, please. What's that? Okay, facilitators, we will, we will have a brief discussion after this. But, um, you know, keep your eye on the, on the